can do the recap. All right, so we're back in it. So the three cases we have going on is somebody stole uh, Mr. Noodle's noodle cart. I think his name is Mr. Noodle. Um, somebody hit Phoenix with a car, but he's okay. He's very resilient, I guess, but he's still at the hospital. And then somebody stole his daughter's panties, which I don't really know why we needed that specific thing, but whatever, Japan, right? All right, so what we're gonna do is, uh, I guess we're gonna go to the scene of the stand theft because we haven't been there yet. I pressed B. I don't know how um, buttons work, apparently. Here we go. June 15th, scene of the stand theft. So what's this place? This would be Mr. Eldoon's house, silly. <laughs> Oh yeah, Mr. L. Dune, but his name his Mr. Noodle. His is just Noodle backwards. It's it's not clever, Capcom. It's not clever. Oh, so this is where his stand was stolen from. Is this a JoJo reference? <laughs> Cause stands, you know. Uh, I can see a piece of evidence lying on the ground already. What is it? it wow. What is it? The bowl? Is it the bowl? Hey. Look, there's a police car parked over there. Is there? Yeah, <laughs> funny JoJo reference go brrr, exactly. Make all the fans go crazy. <laughs> uh, I, one of my friends on Facebook is like a big JoJo uh, Bizarre Adventure um, fan, and she shares like all... The memes are so bad. They're so bad, which I feel like it is... I, I don't know if that's an inside joke in the community, or if they just really like horrible, dumb memes. I don't know. It's one of the reasons why I've never really, like, wanted to get too much into JoJo. And much of the same reason why I never really wanted to get into Undertale, because the fans are fucking crazy. Like, you cannot tell me. It, or, or, like, Homestuck. Plus, that thing's super long. It's, that's just a lot to go through. There's, there's a few different things where I was like, No thanks. I'm good. Let me do something else. You're done. The Undertale side? Yeah. Like, so if I do Undertale, it would probably just be a YouTube only type thing. Because I don't know what kind of people I would get jump in or trying to, like, spoil stuff. Um, like, on, on Twitter. Because people are really bad about that. Especially when new games come out and they're like, oh, this person dies. And you're like, thanks, I guess. Or the, their, their username will literally be like, this person dies. And I'm like, oh, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah, you're right. What's with this sparkly entrance? What is this place? A hospital? There's a sign. Maractus Clinic. Hmm. Oh, that's where the thief went. The, the thief? The one who snatched my panties. He ran right into this clinic last night. I don't know. Do you think maybe it's Dr. Hottie, the disgusting old man who should go to jail and die? Yeah. I bet it was. It, like, it's so obvious. But then again, when things are super obvious, that means that they're probably not right because this game likes to do weird things. But whatever. Wait, maybe that police car is here to find my panties. How would they even know? Did you report your panties to the authorities? Played Friday Night Funking for his first time. The whole chat was like, play this mod, play this mod, do this, do that. Yeah, he said, yeah. Oh, God. No, I hate that. Because I'm just like, you guys understand that people, like, this is the first time I played this game. So it's like, I'm not going to know what the hell is going on half the time. Thankfully, nobody's been like overly like, oh, it's this, it's this, like, most people also haven't been through or they just make like guesses and I don't care if make people make guesses in chat because I'm like I don't know what's happening either so I'm in the same boat as you but but yeah just let let them play the game that's the thing that pisses me off like that's why I, like in my rules I'm like don't backseat because it like I get annoyed for other people when I see people backseating a lot but if they're okay with like backseating then I'm like I'm not gonna say anything but if they aren't I'm like dude like just let him play the game. I know you like this game and all, but gotta let him experience it. Yeah, I doubt it. Well, there's only one way to be sure. Let's investigate. Uh, there you are, Sonny. Who's Guy? Oh, that's Guy. 
Uh, I forgot. <laughs> El El Dune is guy. Mr. El Dune. I, there's too many names already. I met too many people. I don't remember any of them. I barely remember Apollo's name because he's not Phoenix Wright. You don't have any attention. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I figured as much. Well, you find anything yet? Uh, uh, no, not yet. I literally just got here. Stop playing your harmonica. The longer you loaf around here, the saltier your victory bowl gets. Just remember that. But I thought you liked, I thought salty was good for you. I don't know. This bowl of noodles is sounding less like payment and more like punishment. Well, it, it sounds like no matter what, it's going to be. Yeah, I don't know, it's Noodle. But his name is Guy. He's not Mr. Well, maybe he's Guy Eldoon. He's Guy Eldoon. I forgot, that's his last name. Because that's how they do things in Japan. And, well, in probably a lot of places. Okay, let's talk to him. Yeah, he's the Noodle guy. I know, I mean, look at his hair. I don't like his hair. It's too noodly. Okay, let's ask you. So your stand, Eldoon's Noodles, huh? Aye! Passed down from father to son. Then Stan Cena share a salt. Mm -hmm. Salt runs in the family, you might say. Like in your veins? That's dangerous. You should drink more water. Yeah, I know. I hate, like, is he actually bald? Is there a point where you see, like, his his actual head? Because I think I've just seen his hair, like, look especially noodly. I don't know. He looks like he'd be bald, though. I bet high blood pressure does, too. So, your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was stolen. Cat! Welcome on in! And thank you for the postcard redemption. I will go through all those redemptions, and... I gotta make sure I... I, I think I pinned your address in our conversation. I'll... Well, I already... Never mind. What, I already know it, because I have it on other stuff. Whatever, don't mind me. I don't know what I'm talking about. Your hair looks especially noodly too. Does it? Uh, Pixar didn't happen, cat. But your hair always looks fantastic. But how are you doing today? Is gonna be a hair reveal? Stand user, Guy Eldoon, stand type, Eldoon's noodles. Oh no, it's just gonna be like a big noodle monster. Oh, it's gonna be terrifying. Justice. Also, hi Flo, how are you doing? Welcome. How goes, uh, homework? You said you were working on homework, right? You're doing okay? I'm glad to hear that you're doing all right. Yeah. So your stand, Eldoon's noodles, was stolen. Oh, it wasn't just the stand that was stolen, sunny boy. I lost those wobbly wheels, my salt-crusted stew pot. Ooh, that's too much salt. My stained sign. I didn't just lose a stand, I lost a legend! Thanks. No one steals a legend and gets away with it on my watch. Let's find that legend, Apollo. Isn't it about time he bought a new one anyway? You don't understand. It's not about how worn it is. It's about how much of his heart it takes up. Homework again. Yeah, you got this. Got a microwave Totino's pizza and missed half the stuff. It's okay. We're just looking at him and his dumb noodle head. Okay, it's not dumb, I'm sorry. He just... <sighs> He's very salty. Not nearly as salty as me, but... Are there any more details you can give me about the stand? You bet, sonny boy, it happened last night. I was blowing my whistle like always, crying the town I was. The smell of broth filled the streets, thick and salty. I got home, well, right before 10 p.m., I reckon. I guess he's not aiming for that late night market. I washed my bowls and gave the wheels a squirt of grease. Then I went inside. Uh, when did you notice it had been stolen? Early this morning, before the sun rose, work starts early. How many people eat noodles for breakfast, especially salty noodles? What? I'm just saying, these keep, they're making the salt jokes. I should point there. Objection. It's not me, it's them. I'm washed up on the salty shores of ruination. Please stop. Terry shirts or his car and get himself the money for a better hair. Yeah. Oh. Hey, oh. That stand had my whole life in it. Nay, my whole being. Oh no, I hate the fact that he like sucks on his hair. Oh, I hate it. He's 
He's still not as gross as Dr. Hottie, though. Dr. Hottie is disgusting, even though his name is Dr. Something Else now. What's going on, Zunder? Welcome on in. Man, you know, I would love a Totino's pizza right now. And I know Totino's pizza is like the cheapest, like, eh, frozen pizza. But I don't know. There's something just about eating really shitty food sometimes. <laughs> uh, not that it, like, tastes bad. It's just you could, you're like, you're definitely like, I could be eating something better for me. But this is good for now. Actually, no, if I had a Totino's pizza, especially if I took a picture of it, Cat would, yeah, cat would kill me, actually. It makes it, it makes cat sad when I talk about pizza and then I show her American pizza and then she probably cries big tears. Cause cat's from Italy where pizza is good <laughs> all the time. Is, is fly kick direct, I would love that. I Can somebody please program a game where you just kick Dr. Hottie for hours to get points? They took everything. Oh, my soup stock, my noodles, my bowls, and my dreams. Uh, at least they left one bowl. Look, they're there on the ground. If you don't find that stand today, then I'll be forced to walk the streets peddling that bowl. My last bowl. You mean, yeah, no, understandable. It's okay. It will happen again, cat. And then later on, I'll find the money to go to Italy and we can walk around and eat delicious food. Please, I'm under enough pressure here as it is. Okay, the garage. That's it. That's where the thief who snatched my panties ran to. It's a crying shame, that is. They have to steal. Make it my loincloth, not some pretty girl's panties. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't need any of this. Yeah, well, yeah, exactly. It's that, well, is that one, is that actually a beanie or is it a bowl? Hard to tell, but I'm pretty sure it's an actual bowl. Why is it on your head? That's not for wearing. Yeah, I know, he's just, he he's just got a big noodly heart. In the garage, right? You don't think the th thief lives there, do you? <sighs> I wouldn't put it past that good for nothing, Doctor. Do I detect a little animosity here? Doctor? Let's make sure to check out the garage thoroughly. Back. Examine. Uh. Dog. Look, a doggy! I mean... Trucy is adorable, but I don't like it when there's adorable young characters and then people are especially creepy, like Dr. Hottie, and it's just like, ugh, no, Capcom, bad. Looks too rigid to be, yeah, true. Turns out a regular bowl of noodles. Yeah, exactly, that's what I was thinking too, but we'll see, there will probably be a reveal. There'll be a, a noodle reveal later on. It'll be great. And look, a doggy. Good boy, good boy. Salty. Uh, I'm sure the dog has a real name, Trucy. Yep, sure does. Named Spoon. It's a she, by the way. Okay, you know what? I'd rather the dog be named Spoon than Salty. Because there was already too much salt happening. <coughs> yeah, oh. <laughs> Spoon doesn't seem so lively. She didn't get her bowl of salty broth this morning, that's why. Do not, for the love of fucking God, do not give your dog too much salt. They will die. Dogs don't need that much salt. They actually, you, they probably really don't need any salt, other than like the small amount of whatever sodium happens to be in their food if there is. Don't give your dogs a lot of salt, it's bad. You're killing her, guy. Poor little thing. Apollo, let's find that stand soon, for Spoon's sake. Pretty sure dogs aren't supposed to eat noodles or salt. Yeah, Apollo. Finally, look at you. He wasn't attracted to mice, so at least isn't. Yeah, this is true. Okay. It looks like the oil drum is connected to that sink over there. 
collecting rainwater to do the dishes. How environmentally conscious. Did you know that in a, like a lot of places in the US, collecting rainwater is illegal for some reason? That's really weird, but it's true. You don't think he uses rainwater to cook his noodles and make the broth, do you? Oh, I'm sure he finds the best water money can buy. Taste is his business, you know. Look, that sign over, look at that sign over there. Eldunes only uses water from all natural sources, which would mean rainwater, Trucy. I think I'll take a rain check on eating here. <laughs> I mean, if as long as you like, as long as you like boil it, I guess it's okay, but. But is these that, oh no. Capcom, a 40, 60 something man hanging on a 15 year old girl. He has fit peak comedy. Yeah, I'm like, mm, no. That's quite a sign. I take it that's new as opposed to old. No, you dumbass. It's the beginning of noodles. Ah, you like it? Made it myself, I did. I meant to write noodles, but I ran out of space. Prior planning prevents poor performance. Lucky for me, it spells the word all by itself and spruces up my image, it does. It does have a certain power of willful denial thing going for it. Miss that. There's a handwritten sign here. Save the light. Save the light indeed. Mr. Aldoon's house is practically in the dark here. Guess the hospital clinic next door blocks the sunlight. Everything's gone wrong since they built this monstrosity. Broth needs sun or it rots. What's a man to do? They just want my customers to get food poisoning so they can turn a pretty profit. That seems like a lot of trouble to go through for a few extra patients. TV Nooners game? I mean, I think so. Is this? That's the place right there. That's where I kept my stand, covered in all nice and purdy in that blue tarp there. So you use this plastic sheet to cover your stand at night. I see. You see? What, did you figure out why it was stolen? Well, no, but it does suggest that the thief knew what he or she was looking for. They clearly knew what was under that sheet. So it wasn't one of those casual drive-by stand snatchers, you mean? Is that? I don't think that's a thing. Not bad, sonny boy, not bad at all. Mr. Eldoon, big time Steven Universe fan confirmed. We're getting into the deep lore of Ace Attorney now. Stay tuned for more. But don't worry, it's just a theory. A game theory. Shit. Oh, I did. Okay, I was like, I don't think I clicked the bowl. Is this yours, Mr. Eldoon? Hey, that there's the heart and soul of Eldoon's noodles. The bowl absorbs my salty soup. Pretty soon, it's gonna taste just like noodles. Wow, it does smell like noodles. All my other bowls got taken away with my stand. Get it back for me, sonny boy. I'm begging ya bowl added to the court record. It smells like noodles. Speaking of food, you know what you need to do, Cat? You need to start sending me daily pictures of the things you eat because, like, everything that you've ever sent me always looks fantastic, and I need more delicious-looking food in my life, so I'm more motivated to cook myself. Like, cook myself, not cook myself, which is bad because then I would probably die. And I don't really want that. I still have a lot of games I need to play. Custom made Eldoon's Noodles Bowl, decorated with the Eldoon's Noodles mascot. What, a squirrely, swirly, is that a, is that a mascot? What, is, what do you mean a mascot, check? What mascot? Is it on the bottom? Oh, what is that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's in pain. Yeah, lightly broiled. Oh, look, I love these little personal touches. Seems a shame to hide it on the bottom of the bowl. No, what is it? Hello? Huh? When I touch the paint flaked off, you must have painted it on by hand with warm professional care. After buying the cheapest paint he could find with cold professional thrift. Wow. Okay. Uh, that, I... Oh, whoa, so it's at the bottom of the bowl too? 
It's the Eldoon Noodle's mascot, Mr. Salty. He's so cute. It's not a very endearing mascot, is it? You know, come to think of it. Yeah, no, he looks like he's in horrible pain. It looks a lot like you, Apollo, especially the red parts. It's all red. Can I help it if I like red? Ugh. Okay. You can tell my bowls by the S Mr. Salty logo. The mascot of Eldoon's noodles. They come to the stand and they sit, they drink deep from that bowl. And when they see the bottom, their face looks just like Mr. Salty's. Genius, no? Very high concept. Objective pet dog, I don't think. Unfortunately, we can only look at dog. No pet dog, zero out of 10. You can't ply a trade if you don't love the tools. Remember that. Yes, sir. Trucy has a thing for professionals, clearly. Okay, well, cool. I don't think I can talk anymore about Mr. Salty. Uh, I'm, wait, can I look at the clothes up there? No clues here, nope. Who's that? No clues here. Nope. Dishes? This house is well, it's old. It's been well loved, that's for sure. I've lived here with my wife for many years now. Got character though, just like my soup. Where's your wife? I always thought character was a positive thing. New objective steal dog? Then I'd be the one put on trial. Okay, well. That doorway sure is sparkly. Uh, the Maractus Clinic, huh? Looks more like a casino parlor than a hospital. They must be quite profitable. Funny, it looks closed. Maybe they're on vacation today? Uh, I'd understand if there was an ambulance outside, but a police car? Maybe they're tax evaders. Wow. Ah, sorry miss, not going into the clinic today. Did something happen? Huh? Uh, no, no, nothing to see here. Move along. Wow, why do all the cops in this game seem incredibly suspicious? Y'all have to find someplace else to play doctor. What? Do we look like the right age to be playing doctor? Uh, we need a little bit more info on this Maractus clinic. We could ask Mr. Eldoon. He is their neighbor and all. And we should check out that garage. What if the thief who stole my panties is still in there? Uh, fine, but let's go talk to us uh, back. Hey, do you think something is happening next door? There's a police car out front. New objective, pet the stolen dog. Oh, of course. The stolen dog would get all the pets all the time. Yeah, there's a police car out front. Heh, <laughs> probably gave someone food poisoning, I'll bet. If anyone's at risk of giving someone food poisoning. That police car got here this morning, actually. I asked what they were up to, but they wouldn't even tell me the neighbor. <laughs> hmm. Not that I was surprised much, that doctor works for the wrong crowd. It was just a matter of time before he got what was coming to him. The wrong crowd? Never you mind about that. No, I want to know about that. Okay, well. Okay, the doorway is sparkly, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I like how it's like three shots for the price of one. It's because he is, his name is uh, Guy Eldoon or Mr. Eldoon, and he, uh, he is the proprietor of Eldoon's Noodles. Therefore, he has very noodly hair and a bowl on his head. Also, hi, Ellie. Welcome. Have you been playing more, um, near today? Sorry, I don't know why I forgot. 
Or did you just play, um... Genshin? You have not? Okay. You know, three shots for the price of one also sounds like some kind of assassination service. We have a sweet deal. You just logged into Jadder. Yeah, it makes sense. Three shots for the price of one. Oh, now's our chance, Apollo. Chance for what? I don't need any shots, thank you. Whoever runs this clinic, they seem pretty business-minded. Well. Uh, well. Where can we move to? Oh, I can, oh, I can just go in. How do I go into, the police is there. The, uh, the police are there, the police is there. Well, let's try to go into the garage, I guess. How did I, where is the cop car all of a sudden? <laughs> what? You better get those three shots to count. Yes, ma'am, I'll do my best. We're in the garage. This is the place. This is where that panty snatcher ran. <gasps> There's a cat. There's a cat. Are you sure? Maybe, let's look for clues. Clues to a panty snatching. Clues like a pair of panties. How many times do I have to say panties? Uh, Trucy, did you try not saying panties so many times? Thank you, Apollo. Thanks. I have to say it every time. <gasps> Are those panties? <laughs> What's under the car? Could it be panties? Something about this car. Let's take a closer look. <gasps> is that? Whoa, is that somebody's Nintendo Switch? Oh, wait, this game came out before they were even thinking. Oh, my God. Don't tell me those are. Oh, no. Please tell me they didn't shove them in the exhaust pipe. That reminds me. I once read a record of a case that Mr. Wright worked on many years ago. Hmm? Apparently, there was this car with a piece of cloth shoved in the tailpipe. They were forward thinkers, yeah. Yeah, this is true. A piece of cloth turned out to be vital clue to solving the case. Wow! I remember that case record whenever I'm checking out a car. Now I always check the tailpipe. Everyone's gotta have a hobby, I guess. Wow, sorry that I stalked your dad. Wouldn't it be funny if- Hey! There's something in there! Uh, what? Wait a second, are th these your... Ah, my panties! What, already? Ew, but now they're all t covered in tailpipe. Wow, thank you, Apollo, you're a genius. Amazing. Uh, no, no, not really, don't mention it. No, I'm serious, I'm really impressed. What is, uh, is there blood on your... You know what? I'm gonna stop right there. Something's wrong. I don't know if... Can you unroll them so we can see what is going on? If, is that a design or is... Oh. No, I'm serious. I'm really impressed. Okay. They're like bloomers. Okay. I got really scared for a second. Your hobby is checking security cams. Whatever. Yeah. Well, no, I do that a lot too. But I've also worked at a Walmart and they have a lot of cameras there. But like 80% of them are dummy cams because they don't want to actually pay for... A full system, so just FYI. You must have a nose for finding girls' panties. Please don't say that. Oh, what are those? My little panties, of course. They've come home to Mama. I can't wait to use them. Wash them first, please. Y you're gonna put them on now? Watch closely now. No, don't put those on. See, nothing in the panties. I would appreciate it if you would just put them away. Ta-da! Whoa, where'd that come from? Why did you pull the bolt? <sighs> How did that bolt get in your panties? That's the question we all want answered. Uh, my panties are in extra dimensional space. Anything can fit in there. That. I don't think you should be saying that to people. They're my magic panties. It's one of my best tricks. Magic panties. Okay, seriously, I should have put up a counter for how many times I've said panties because I'm pretty sure we're in like the 30s now. 
They love them over at the Wonder Bar. I do shows there nightly. You mean those panties are a prop? You could have told me a little sooner. Trucy's panties put discreetly away in Trucy's pocket. Type other. Well, that's one case closed at least. What are you saying? We still have to catch the sly devil that ran off with the tool of my trade. Oh, right. You mean not your panties. Something tells me we're not finished searching this garage anyway. Or this car. Because there's like a fucking phone right here. Come on. Look, a cell phone. Someone dropped it beneath this tire. If the car moved, it would have been crushed for sure. Hmm, I wonder if it belongs to the doctor here. We should bring it to him later. Cell phone, other. Oh God, what's going on? Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I think we're done with that. Let's check the court record. Let's take a closer look at these panties. Prop for performing magic. Found in the in an exhaust pipe of the car at the Maractis Clinic. Maractis. Well. Oh, there's something in the panties. Um, how do I open the panties? God, I hate this. Just let, let me examine. Oh, I need to examine the, it looks like there's something in there, unless that's just the hole out the other side. Something the matter? Uh, I was just wondering if there was like a switch on these. Of course not. Huh, mysterious. Oh, do you want to know the secret of my panties? Please, please stop. Oh, ah, no, no thanks. Who uses magic panties in a stage show anyway? Ooh. All right, no, well, maybe, yeah, let me, let me try spinning it again. Maybe I was just seeing like the whole, I thought there was something in, yeah, okay, never mind. I'm just seeing through the panties. Oh gosh. Well, that helped not at all. The cell phone found in the Maractus Clinic garage beneath the car. Who could have dropped it? Um, I guess we could check out the watch thingy on top. <clears throat> Look at this cute little watch strap. I want one. It's kind of odd, though. What is? I mean, if you wanted to know the time, you could just look at the phone itself. Hey, you're right. Sharp, Apollo. Uh, thanks? Finally, some respect. So what does that tell you? Well, the owner of this phone doesn't think through the details, that's for sure. They did drop their phone, after all. I kind of figured they were a little spacey already. Oh, good point. Well, what's on the back of the phone? Oh, it just, uh... Nothing. We already examined that. All this touching and nothing happening. Well, at least we know that they're not very smart. Okay. Cat. <clears throat> hey, a kitty cat here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Meow. It's not coming down. Uh, we do look kind of suspicious, you have to admit. It's okay, kitty cat, his hair won't hurt you. What? It's okay, kitty cat, she won't make you disappear in her hat. Well, cat. Oh wait, is this, is this gonna be the infinite? Look, it's a folding ladder. Polly, that's called a step ladder. Come on! Oh my God, they kept the dumb step ladder joke. Never, n never have I seen such commitment to a joke as the step ladder joke in the Phoenix Wright in the Ace Attorney series. Ah, 
Step ladder? How is that different from a regular ladder then? It's a much more complex piece of machinery. It's like two ladders stuck together. So you admit that basically it's a ladder, right? Wait, huh? You have to look past the form at the essence of the thing. Oh my God. So the idiot in this situation is Apollo <laughs> because it was always, it was always uh, Maya that would say that. Hmm. Can we talk about something else? Yeah, that's dumb. Skeleton friend. Ah, someone's there. Oh, it's just a gold painted human skeleton. Why is it gold painted? Just a human skeleton and painted gold? There's a mannequin hand waving to us from the box behind the skeleton. This place just screams hospital storage, don't you think? It screams something, that's for sure. All right, um, well. I, is, is there more in the garage to look at? I don't think there's more in the garage to look at. The tires? No clues here, nope. <laughs> the box is under the kitty. No clues here. Nope. I think we found all that we could really find. Maybe we can chum the phone and see if he knows. Sorry, sonny boy. My interest is for my stand and precious little else. Get cracking on that case. Find my stand. I'm begging you. Okay. Well, I guess I won't show you her bloomers. There's no need for that. Um, whoops, I went back to the mansion. Uh, maybe, do you know anything about this cell phone? Sorry, kid, I've got no idea what you're talking about. Okay. Um, oh, wait. Present, maybe, uh, do you know about Eldoon's noodles? Nope, you do not. Okay, bye. I think it might be time to go back to... Oh, they still do the dumb thing where you have to go to very specific areas before you can go to other areas. Uh, just let me go. Okay, the... Oh, wait, no, I have to go back to the anything agency. And then I can go to the hospital. <sighs> yeah, come on. She is sus. She also has a, a knife in her broom which makes her extra sus, but also terrifying. So we don't push it too much. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, oh, it's different now. Hickfield Clinic. Hmm? Mr. Wright's gone, also, Oh wait, I guess that tiny piano was always there. Maybe he's gone for an examination? He'll probably be back soon, let's wait. I think it might take some time. Daddy always loves his examinations. What does that mean? Uh, don't ask, Justice, you don't want to know. Why don't we come back later? Yeah, I guess you're right. Um, but I wanna look at this tiny piano. A small children's piano. I guess the man likes pink. Are you sure he likes pink? Okay, that that showed us nothing. Let's go back here. Present the phone. Why are we still holding on to your bloomers? What's that, Polly? Oh, I know. You want to see a magic trick? Well, you come to the right girl. Watch as I make that evidence disappear forever. Whoa, uh, no, don't. Sorry, my bad. Wow. <laughs> Present the panties. I'm so glad we found my panties. No idea they were so important to you. And in time for tonight's show, too. A lot of people come just to see my panties, you know? Please don't say it like that. You might not want to advertise it like that, yeah. Hmm? Oh, boy. Um... Actually, what? Well, because I can't... Can I get into the park? Unless there's things I can... More things I can talk to her about. Well, we already got that. Uh... 
Okay, let's present the panties. Okay, never mind. You're not interested. I mean, I. You know what? That's probably a good thing. Present. Do you know anything about this? No. Wait, wait, wait. Maybe. Maybe I need to show her the panties. Come on, old lady. Check out these sweet panties. Oh, that's the check. Present. Okay, you don't know what I'm talking about. Um. Anything else to talk about? No, just the private matter. Um. Gotta say, I'd really like to know what happened here. Yeah, no one goes in unless you want a face full of hydroxia dia. Did what's it? Hey, Ali, welcome. No dice. Okay, I don't want Hydro... What's it? You see that lady trying to get over there? She'll hurt herself. Okay. What the... Where am I supposed to go? You tried to raid from your phone, but you couldn't get to... Oh, no, you're fine. It's good to see you here. I hope that you're doing well. Okay, I can't. Okay, well, what am I? What the hell? Oh wait, there it is. It probably it, it's set on a timer, but you can't always raid right away from there. Thank you so much for the raid, Ali. Yeah, it did work. Okay, I guess we'll go back to Eldoon's house. Yeah, just a little delayed, but yeah, welcome. I hope that you're doing great today. Present. You don't care about that. What am- what is going on? What am I missing? Okay, because I can't talk to the... Maybe I need to go back into the garage? Maybe I missed something in the garage. Like, there's nothing weird about the car, I don't think. They won't examine the tires. Maybe I do have to- oh no, it's just the skeleton again. Where am I? You got your first rate? Nice! No, that's awesome! Okay, let's take a look- what? Oh, 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 duh! Examine, it's missing its freaking thing, and that's the car that hit your dad! Hey, look at that! The mirror's been broken off. Now this is a clue. What? You're smiling like you know something I don't. You aren't keeping a clue from me, are you, Polly? A clue, let's see. Show evidence. I think I do have just the clue you've got in mind. My clue is this. Whoa, it's the same color and size and everything. A perfect match. I guess we could check it out. Hmm, two pieces of garbage with paint on them. Look at this, Apollo. Doesn't this go on a car? It's a side view mirror. It looks like it was torn off when it smacked into something. Or someone. Yeah, well, I hope you had a really good stream, Allie. It's always good to have you here. Well, it looks like we've just solved a case. So the car that hit Daddy last night is sitting right in front of us. Yep. Wow, you put the pro and professional, Apollo. Gee, thanks, Trucy. Apollo! Huh? What is it? Now we've solved this case, we should go report to Daddy. He'll mope if we leave him alone too long, knowing him. Uh, okay. He doesn't seem the time to mope, though. This is hardly a case worth reporting. Okay, now I can go, and he should be done being examined. Finishing up Ori in the Will of the Wisps. Nice. Boom, boom, boom. 
to the clinic. June 15th, Hickfield Clinic. Yo, how goes it? Daddy, how do you feel? Not bad, Trucy, not bad. It's good to have you youngins on the case. Let old Daddy-O get some well-deserved R&R. So this, is, this game is just because you're too lazy. Got it, Phoenix. Got it. The elderly need their rest. <laughs> uh, isn't he only 33? Yeah, don't say that. I'm only 32. I'm gonna be 33. I'm not elderly. Oh, uh, we cleared up most of the cases. I was right about you. Competent. Capable. Tell me what you found out. If you want to. Your enthusiasm is overwhelming. Progress report. I certainly expect, didn't expect you to be back this early. Holly's amazing! He found my panties so quick! <laughs> Almost like he was the one who stole them! Please! You have an interesting concept of praise. And... Did you find the mad driver who gave me the 30-foot toss? Apparently, it was a doctor from the Marac Maractus Clinic. Hmm. Maractus, eh? I've heard of him. Nothing good, mind you. That reminds me, a police car was parked outside the clinic. Maybe something happened. What is this Maractus Clinic, anyway? All I've heard are the rumors. That clinic's been making good money in a bad way. Bad? Ties to organized crime. The Kentucky family. Um, the, uh, Kentucky family? He did that on purpose. Some injuries you can't take to a hospital, you see. They use the Maractus Clinic for their patch-up jobs. Interesting. Okay, yeah, uh, Kentucky family. Unless there really is a Kentucky family. It looked like something had happened in that park. Ah, a body was found there in unusual circumstances. Something more unusual, or something more unusual than being dead? It's not our concern in any case. Right, let's ignore that and find that noodle stand. Whatever happened to professional curiosity, what if the murder had to do with the noodle stand? Also, welcome back, RC. Did you... Are you nude? Did you get up and do stuff? Have you eaten? Thanks, really. If I get tired of sleeping, maybe I'll head down to this Maractus place. Maybe I'll hit him up for a little reparations. A little legal action would do me some good. Um, I was wondering, when I get paid? We solved the case of your accident, um, found a missing article of clothing. My panties! Yes, your panties. On the phone telling us through how to fix- Oh, with the, the washing machine? Yeah. That leaves the noodle stand. Eh. Feel free to drop in if you get stuck. I'd be happy to help with anything not involving money. <laughs> Goodbye, quid pro quo. Hello, pro bono. <sighs> right, back to the office to plan our next move. What about my money? Okay, well, I guess we're going back to the office. Oh, hello. Y you're the woman from the Kentucky place. Y yes I knew it! Something's the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you've come to the right place. Haha, <laughs> the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Alita Tiala. I have a request. Okay. Talk. Your request. Uh, your request. Let me guess. Something's been stolen? Um, your flyer. It says now defending, so I thought... What? You mean you want me to defend you? Uh, me? Maybe you can tell us what happened. Were you hit by a car? Did someone steal your stand? Or your panties? No, no. I'm not the client, actually. The client would be my... Well... My fiance, I suppose you'd call him. Fiance? What happened to him then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. 
I bet it's the guy. I bet it's the doctor. Murder? Have you heard about what happened at the park? Well, I'm gonna ask y'all a story first. So what's your story? You frequent the Kotaki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet? You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So he's a, uh, a gangster. Yes, but the Katakis are locally responsible gangsters. I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job, live the good gangster life. <laughs> wow. I think you're onto something. Miss Kitaki, I like the sound of that. Not sure your daddy would care much for that. Murder in the park. Whoop. What happened? I haven't been told all the details, but I do know that a body was found in the park near the Kitaki mansion. Yeah, locally responsible gangsters, you know, the ones who don't just kill random people. They kill very specific people, but they're very good about their jobs. I never knew Farmer's Market could have gangster description. This is true. So, uh, so Kat, do you want to join me and become a uh, locally responsible gangster? The benefits are great. Also plenty of fiber. But I do know that a body was found in the park near the Kataki Mansion. There are a lot of police cars there. Apparently the victim was shot with a pistol. But I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual. You were considering becoming an organic pirate? I think you'd look pretty dang good in a bodice and an eye patch and a tricorn hat. And those boots. I mean, honestly, you just look really good in the whole outfit. I don't know why I'm just picking, like, all the random pieces. Just, just go ahead. Yeah. And your fiancé was arrested for this? Thank you for the lurk, Ali. Um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Is he the doctor? Please don't tell me he's the doctor. Hmm. You're... Fiance is the Kataki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki. Waki Kataki. That's such a name. I brought a photo. He looks like he's like Tan. Wow. Well, that's uh, quite the photo. He's wearing the shirt of the blue badger that doesn't even look like a badger. I know. Oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son, yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Please help my walkie, please. Right, my first solar defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove that he's innocent. I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Letter of request added to the court record. Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. Well, first, let's check the court record. Letter of request, request, letter of request from Alita Tiala for the legal defense of her fiance, Waki Katai. Why does this envelope say hit request? Oh no! Um, it's a bit of a lingo, like calling a hit or hitman. Oh, you mean gangster talk? So, 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 does hit mean to defend in gangster ease? Well, hitman? I certainly hope not. Something tells me she used the wrong envelope. Oh no! Can we turn this into anybody? I don't think so. <laughs> I don't want this hit request. Okay, back. Well, I guess we're going to People Park again. Oh no, we're going to the detention center. And then we'll go to People Park. June 15th, detention center, visitor's room. Holly, you look as happy as a clam in its shell. Uh, for a lawyer, this is it, the place where the battle begins. <clears throat> you need something? Ah, yes, uh, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Waki Kitaki. Sorry, he's in questioning right now. 
Could take a while. Tret, oh well, I guess we'll have to come back later then. Hm, so much for that battle. Well, I guess it's time to go to back to People Park. Oh, you're still here. This is awkward. Um... Oh wait, I have to go. Uh, I have to go from like the clinic, I guess. Gosh, why can't I just have a whole list of places to go? I oh, know, Kentucky Mansion, there we go. Now there's a motorcycle all of the sudden and no cop. So this is it, my first murder crime scene. Ah, it's, uh, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other places to play? We're not playing. We're um investigating, aren't we, Apollo? Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh? Why does it say hit request on it? Uh, Miss Tiala must have used Kentucky, the Kentucky stationery. Excuse me, coming through. What? Oh, no. It's... It's the son of the other guy. Ah, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who's this guy? I must say I'm quite used to being inspected by the ladies. What? But this is the first time I felt this way with a man. What? Wait, what is happening? Mr. Gavin? Mr. Gavin! Ah, oh, Frau Lin, what is this, such a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Please don't call her a morsel! She's 14! Y yes the policeman, officer, fellow here won't let us in. We even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. I yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. <laughs> Very well, this way, Fraulein. I don't know actually how to say that. Whee! D you don't find that weird? Wait, can I go in there too? Hey, ooh, what about me? Yeah. Hey, it's the, why is there, what is happening? Soup. June 15th, People Park. On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you, will we see you again? Ask the wind, Fralin. I'll be riding on it. What is happening with motorcycle bro? Who was that? Ah! Apollo, look, a, 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 a corpse! What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. <clears throat> Might I ask exactly what it is you're doing here? Oh, it's you! Oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy, well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. <laughs> Him again. That glimmerous fop always getting in my way. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Uh, excuse me, we have a letter of request. Hmm, one moment. Why is she holding that big magnifying glass? I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says that this was written by Alita Tiala. Thanks. Took you 30 minutes to figure that out? So what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? So you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Skye. I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna end this recording for now. We just made it to the scene of the crime and also to the noodle cart. Hell yes. <laughs>